Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. A day with, I'm going to piss her off by doing this, but Amelia is on my lap. And hopefully she won't jump off. <laughs> you can't really see her too much because of the way I angled the camera now, because I sit up straighter in my chair because back pain. So to keep from being way down at the bottom of the screen, I have to angle the camera upward now. So now I'm up near the top of the screen. I don't know, maybe I need to angle it further upward. We shall see. We shall see. I'm always working on that. Ooh, my tummy is filled with gas because I went, oh, excuse me, and drank some carbonated beverages before I started my webcam. Of course, good Amelia kitty. She's a good kitty. What she does that I really like is because even though I'm sitting up straighter, my chair leans back and so I have to struggle to lean forward. Yeah, now she's going. But if I lean back a little bit, what she does is she'll sit on my lap and when she really wants cuddles, she just goes thump. And just falls against my chest and then just leans into me and then I just snuggle up against her put my chin on the top of her head and pet her and she just she gets really really happy it's a good thing cats are awesome I mean they're destructive and terrible they're a blight on the wildlife and as much as I love cats at the same time I understand why and fully support Australia having to kill millions of feral cats because the feral cats are just destroying the actual wildlife I mean with cats there's going to be nothing left but cats and that just that's a devastation that's not good and since we as people flood areas that shouldn't have animals with animals that don't belong there wreaking ecological havoc I mean, you gotta do something. So as much as I like cats, you gotta do something. A thing that I'm not too happy about today, I have a problem, especially with my lower legs, because my lymph system in my lower legs is just destroyed, burned out because of my cellulitis. It just eliminated my lymph system and your lymph system is important for moving fluid throughout your body so if your lymph system doesn't work well in say your legs you're going to have a collection of fluid starting in your legs now as you get older you naturally have more circulation issues the valves in your veins have been failing so you have more settling of the fluids towards your lower extremities whether you like it or not just occurs with age so i've got that combined with the fact that my lymph system is wiped out because of cellulitis i retain fluids at the drop of a hat i used to have to take there's a diuretic called furosemide lasix I used to take 80 milligrams of that and that's like almost the maximum dosage and now every once in a while I have to take a 40 milligram Lasix tablet and right now I'm really retaining fluids. My shoes aren't that tight yet but this choker right now usually it flops and falls around my lower neck here because it's so loose it's digging into the meat of my neck. So I am really retaining fluids on my scale downstairs I weighed myself now when you are wearing shoes clothing your natural stuff in your pockets you're supposed to subtract well five pounds if you use the American system and if you use the system that makes sense the metric system that would be like what two two something kilograms 2.2 two point something kilograms of weight and so on that I weigh 185 which is remember I said I gained five pounds well part of that five pounds now is just plain juice inside of my body so it, no actual meat just juice so I gotta take me a diuretic tablet today and try and get some of that juice out thumbs up 
because when you get too much juice in your body of course that means you got too much blood and when you've got too much blood well your blood pressure goes up and when your blood pressure goes up that's bad for your heart that's bad for your brain that's bad for every single system in your body especially your circulatory system because with your circulatory system if you've just got normal pressure things are fine but say you've got a weak spot with that increased blood pressure that's pushing on the weak spot and maybe one day that weak spot is gonna pop so you don't want to have high blood pressure <coughs> So I'm going to be taking me this tablet later on today, which is going to be fun because, of course, I'm up on the second floor and the bathroom I have to use is down on the first floor. So there's going to be a lot of up and down on the stairs. Good exercise. That's a good thing. I didn't go walkies last night. It was raining and cold, wet, damp. I just, I didn't want to put myself through that. So I didn't go walkies. And I went to bed early. It was 11 o'clock, maybe, at the very latest, before I went to bed. I think it was closer to 10.30. I was just bored. I didn't want to play a game. I, I was watching videos just to stay up, and not because I was enjoying myself. It was just, no, no, no. So I just went to bed, and now I'm up, and that's okay. I slept mostly of course pain woke me around four three not even sure of the time I refused to look at the clock but it was pitch black outside and the Sun starts coming up around five so I had to start flip-flopping middle of the night but at least I was resting if I wasn't sleeping so that's a good thing definitely a thumbs up Ugh. so it's been fun and by fun, I mean not fun at all. <laughs> but that's life. I mean, it's not been terrible either. It's just been life. I've been living. And that's a good thing. I, of course, need to do things like clean up in here. But partly, my depression makes it so that it's difficult to do a lot of things. Part of that, of course, is even with the widower brain part. Because when you have an, a significant other that dies... Our cerebral cortexes, our prefrontal cortex, our part of the brain that makes us us, our entire brain is like a galaxy. But you've got a focus of attention point that is the size of a laundry basket. And under semi-normal conditions, you can hold one thing in your laundry basket at a time. And under normal circumstances, you've got a problem that drops in and you've got time to deal with it and you can put your attention on it and that's good. When you've had a trauma like the death of a significant other or the death of a parent or just something that knocks you off your rails so that your prefrontal cortex, the new part of our brain that makes it so that we can focus, that laundry basket that is the focus of our attention and the galaxy of our brain. You'll have issues that go thunk and drops into your laundry basket so you can deal with it. But halfway through dealing with it, another thing goes thunk into your laundry basket with it. Well, you don't have the attention to, to deal with them both fully at the same time so you try to you try to deal with both things so you're doing a little bit here with a little bit there and then the next thing you know another thing goes thunk into your basket and then maybe another one goes thump and then falls out your system can no longer deal with the way things are happening the entire system falls apart. You can't deal with life. I'm still dealing with that. Sometimes I can make a phone call in a day. Sometimes it's two or three days before I can make a phone call. Sometimes it's that long before I can do other things. Depression. Widower brain. Fibro fog. Yay! <laughs> it's life. And life is life, after all. 
I've said it before, not that long ago, but there are no neat character resolutions or story arcs in life, and sometimes you're given problems that have no solution. People die every day because they're given problems that have no solution. Is it fair? No. Is life fair? No. No. We're all just part of the faceless, numberless crowd, and when we die, we will join the horde of the innumerable faceless. Forgotten. Gone. One of the billions already gum and gone. A drop in a bucket and just as memorable. It sucks to realize that your life is really and your impact on the world individually may be nothing more than just that of another termite in a termite colony. But that's all it is. And that's okay. Thumbs up. My computer. Yesterday, of course, I told how the day prior it had gone tick 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 in the radiator fan, and I was struggling and fighting with it to get it to not do that, until I, weirdly, because when I put it on its side over here, and then booted it up to find out why it was making that noise, it wouldn't make that noise. So I put it on its side over here almost completely on its side. There is a little something underneath it as a brace so that instead of being thunk flat, it's up like this so that there's a little bit of air circulation underneath it. But the changing of the position is keeping either, because I was talking with Jamie's division, Jamie Rivers on uh, Twitter, and he had said his fan on his radiator had gone out before. And it's just a regular size fan and it, you know, I've already got the long screws to hold it in place. All I need to do is get another fan. Could be the ball bearings in the fan that are going. Could be just it's out of kilter and it's just clipping on the sides. But changing the position of the computer and thus the motherboard and thus the way the fan is sitting inside of its own casing is making it so it, it stopped making that noise yesterday. It hasn't made it yet today. So until I can get, and oh, there's a kitty back there. Until I can get another fan to put in place, at least right now it's working. And that's a thumbs up. And not making that horrific tick 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 Oy vey. So, because what I would do to protect my computer until the last day was I would turn it on and then it run through the full cycle of getting to the welcome screen and then I would shut it down. And so that would take a minute. And so turning it on and off the seven, eight, nine, ten times would take about 15, 20 minutes. The last day was like I'd turn it on and make that sound. I would instantly just turn it off. And I did that about 10 times and then just went okay and then put it over on its side. I didn't turn it off before doing that, which I should have, because as I was turning it on to its side and moving it, it of course went into a blue screen and then said, we're diagnosing your computer. We can't fix it. You need to do some serious work. So I just turned it off, turned it back on, and it booted up just fine. So it's... I need a new fan for the radiator. Until that point, it's going to sit on its side down there but at least it's working. It gives me one less area to stack stuff on, which is both good and bad, because I really shouldn't stack stuff on everything. I mean, I've got things over here that I've got across the corner of Gojira's cage, and I stack stuff on top of that. I stack stuff up on top of little, well, whoever happens to be in the cage, Saber at this time, and I stack stuff on the lid of that. Because, as I've mentioned, this is my only storage space back there. And it's all used for knickknacks and stuff. So the other things that I use in life, I've got nowhere to put. <coughs> that hurt. <coughs> Excuse me. What the heck happened to my vocal cords? So I've got stacks and... Uh, 
So I've got tidying up to do so I can get it done and it won't be just weighing on me. Because about two months ago, I'd had a severe emotional crisis over how bad it had gotten in here. Because it's really hard for me to do things because it hurts. Chronic pain coupled with back injuries and nerve damage makes it very difficult to do anything at all. Bending is horrific. I can hardly lift anything. Thumbs up. Anyway though, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. Now I'm not reading the comments right now, except I've got good peripheral vision. When I look at your name, if it's a small comment, I might accidentally read it. With this eye, not this one. This one I can't see out of anymore, really. This one I can at least read the text, kind of. Now, I'm going to read the comments afterward. Thumbs up each one I do, answer as many as I can. There have been a lot of comments, so I'm way behind. I can't get to them all, but I'll do the best I can. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that kind of thing. I'm better than most, but most ain't all. And of course, it's a range of, aha, I remembered, of 20 to 25, because even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand, with my fibro and all, as I've mentioned, my memory sucks. Thousand percent better than it used to be, but I can still forget what I'm talking about in the middle of conversation with people. So let me open up my Chrome which is the browser I have used to open up everything. Underscore Cherry, good to see you in the comments. Thank you very, very much. And Ty Williams, greatly appreciate it. I'll have number two, I'll have two number nines with extra dip. Big Smoke, that's a good damn game. And Henry, thumbs up and thank you. Serenity, VFX, greatly appreciate it. Board, thumbs up and thank you. Riley E, greatly appreciate it. Melody Geary, thumbs up and thank you. Draco Jungen, I sure hope that's how it's pronounced. And then we have Kathy Kitzkat. Good to see you in the comments. And Sebastian Ferris, hang in there. Thank you so very, very much. And good to see you in the comments. Thank you so very much. Bailey Jade, greatly appreciated. Hey, Zeus Flowers, good to see you. Because <coughs> I like your name. Glengar, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you very, very much. Young Skeet Machine, greatly appreciated. And Sophie, with a whole bunch of... Well, only one letter instead of a digit. Or, and, well, there's two. Sophie, thank you very, very much. Angela Edge, greatly appreciated. Man Overboard LP, thumbs up and thank you. BLKHNRY, greatly appreciated. Russian Timing, good to see you in the comments. Just Tell Me, thumbs up and thank you. Ricardo Stosberg, greatly appreciated. Good Lord. Lollipop Mego plays MSP. Thumbs up and thank you. And we have Storm underscore LPS 666. Greatly appreciated. And last but not least, we have Tranoi. T-R-A-N-O-I-Z. So I give it sort of a French twist, I imagine. Who knows? I, I'm not French. And I have difficulty speaking French because it's too much like English. So I, it... Ugh. The word poison and the word fish, poison and poison, are both spelled exactly the same, but they're pronounced differently, so you have to figure it out by context. So if you go to a restaurant, do not order poison, poison. Bad. Anyway, if you can check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. Now, if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes, and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. But if you could, that'd be very good. I'm at minus 300 in my checking account, and I still have bills that are coming out. If you could help in some way, it would be greatly appreciated. If you could subscribe to the channel, that too would be greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time which will hopefully be a very, very long time from now. And not just like when they turn the simulation off. Which, who knows? I mean, it's not under serious consideration. No one but science fiction writers really might think this, and even science fiction writers don't, but they probably put more thought into it than the actual scientists, because it's an interesting thought experiment, but nothing much more than that. Anyway, I have this video, which, if you hadn't noticed, 
I got another video I need to edit and render. I've got one I need to record, edit, and render. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. And, and, and.